Today we're going to introduce our new VCT Universal Base Plate. And I think we should talk about how this thing developed. We started with our what we call our UB3, which was our universal base plate. Which lasted for years with many, many cameras. And yeah. we sort of drifted away from that and ended up doing more and more specific ones. But now we've kind of come back full circle to a universal base plate. Well, you kind of had to because they took us by shock there. You know, it's like all of a sudden there was a DSLR and that was a totally different configuration. Right. And then they went back to these mid-sized cameras and that was a different configuration. Well, not only that, but like the C300, for instance, was a very strange camera, the way the height was and how close the rods had to be to the bottom. And then the Epic was the opposite. Yeah, it was the opposite. So, so we sat back and we worked on this for a long time. And what we wanted to do was come up with a single base plate that can mount every single camera that you can even put on a base plate. In order to balance the whole rig, you need to be able to move that camera either way far back or in some instances with the short lenses far forward. So we did that by building this track in there, which is over seven inches. That's a pretty large distance when you think. And some of them, you, can, you have many holes in the bottom of your camera. So that gets us with a flat bottom camera, no problem. The second part of making this uh, universal to all cameras is the rod riser. With the DSLRs and mirrorlesses, you have to have the QR riser and drop the rods all the way down because those cameras need to be higher than this base. All the other cameras, they just live on the bottom here, and this rod riser can either go down, you can flip it, it can go up. And that's just to get your mat box at the correct height, the right. industry standard height. Other than that, you, you don't necessarily need to move that. But the other important thing to note about our rod riser is the position it is on the plate. Ours has an extra three inches, would you say? The typical balance point of a camera is where the lens meets the camera body. That's right here in the middle of your shoulder. It looks like nothing. It's three inches. But we're using that three inches in order to be able to hit the focus gear on the lens or the iris gear on the lens. If you're using another brand that didn't have that extra rod real estate here, your rig is going to be front heavy no matter what you do. Because you're going to have to slide your camera as far forward as possible right. and now the camera is going to be in front of you and that's going to be incredibly fatiguing. So that is a critical feature. We've made it so that the total rise over your shoulder is only about an inch which right. is really nice. You get the camera too top heavy, starting to wobble a little bit. So that was a huge improvement. The advantage for the VCT way of mounting it is that it's quick release. So you can go literally from shoulder to tripod and back again extremely quick. No extra parts. We've added this neat feature down here where the thing that we hate about VCT our whole life was the wiggle factor. Yeah, which was a lot of times the way it hooked into this tail hook here. So we decided to make this tail piece adjustable up and down and left and right, forward and back. As these things wear and they're different from plate to plate, you can really dial that sucker in and get a super tight lock, which is really important. Last feature, if you don't want to use the VCT, you can actually mount your tripod plate directly to this. We have a 3 8 and a quarter 20. I have to say, though, that these got to be the most comfortable. I know that the most comfortable pads ever put on one of these plates. This is this Lycra material with this gel inside, so you could wear this for hours, and it, right. it feels... People love it. So here it is, the new Universal VCT base plate.